I'm actually reading a poem. This is really a start. All poetry is science fiction. There is no I in time or me. Time is algebraic, not alphabetical. Abracadabra. We have chemical transformation of letters into numbers and numbers into this poem. An equation of flesh and blood, the poet as magician. Poetry as the illusion of a mathematical mythology. The voice in a top hat, each word wearing a cape. Time is a word, like language is a religion. Take, for instance, my uh, poem, Marty Watt's space poet from the future of poetry which ends all poets travel through time, across the room, down the street, dressed in their centuries, at the speed of marble light, the blur of ruins their statues leave. They part each moment like curtains of eternity and step through the windows between the stars, shattering the night. The end. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Which, yes, which one? How is it? Uh, the howl of the clown, the honk of the moon, the squeak of the flesh, like balloons having sex. My inflatable voice twisted by the clown, each poet becomes when it whistles. Its poem is in Hamlet, it hums. And you honk your moon like a brain when it comes. Honk, honk, goes to bed when you fuck about something I might have said. <laughs> Even I <laughs> But I actually enjoyed that. Where was that? Uh, and how about it? Um, and you, you, and here it is, the famous lines. And you honk your moon like a brain when it comes. Honk, honk goes to bed when you fuck about something I might have said. And the laughter like thorns for the teeth of a rose that floats in the air like a head with tongues for its hair. Its petals flickering like the flames of a heart that beats with a honk and stains the bed red. Comedy is dead, but poetry is like a field of balloons where scarecrows are the only clowns. Like Jesus up on his pogo cross, you, they've made trampolines of our shadows. We bounce like the yo-yo heads on spines of light. Boing is the boo of our ghost. <laughs> like, <laughs> is that okay? That, no, it's my fault, I'm mad. I'm, I'm sitting here going, why did I not make a card of boing is the boo of our ghost? We scream as if we're in comas, not dreams. Like when we are asleep, five filled fur balloons rise from the boots in which I used to walk. Feathered hats float above them that under which I used to talk. And now I whistle all my lines and Hamlet I only hum. Like Shakespeare's Hamlet. Played on a drum of glass like windows made of flesh, with these bones like fossilized x-rays. And this is what each fog-filled fur balloon says, with the inflatable voice of this floating head I'm holding out to you by the spine. Honk, 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 honk. And all I do now is honk my last line. <laughs> Jack the Jack the Ripper. It's just pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Jack the Jack the Ripper was the name of its name. Maddie says beautiful. It lowered itself down from a black hat into boots that it had been walking below. No, that had been, right. It lowered itself down from a black hat into boots that had been walking below. Its name had a name, but it had none. Just a signature that slithered along beside it. A shadow as if cast by the fog. Its whisper was the ghost of a scream. Silences like glaciers slid out of the dream. It slipped out of leaving behind a trail of sleep. Poems are the streets and alleys of writing in which the labyrinth hides. A voice glides along on marble rails. This night has become its own long black coat. The horse is feathered its feet. The horse is feathered each step it rides. Poetry is an elaborate sleeve, a velvet maze. The poet 
is a hand dressed in mist that suddenly appears. Good evening, it would say, if fingers were tongues, and its words had icicles dripping from stars, like the teeth of this. Nice line. <laughs> Thank you. I felt the tension. People like, you can't do it. I saw people panicking. He's not going to do it. He's not going to make it. He's going to. Listen. <laughs> it also is akin to because that relationship anyway of the of the gymnastics and all and nailing the landing. <laughs> so I, you know, I, when I was a kid, I pulled that whole poetics and performance together, and here, you know, sticking the landing in this one. The human hallway. I am now a tunnel of myself, one long shape of what I do. I walk the human hallway, my words leave behind. Dead women walk my veins. My shadow is the only window of this room that I wear. Time parts for me like curtains. The ghosts of statues in the marble light are all that remain of my reflections. The ruins of a poem. The crumbling words, the shattered voice, language has overgrown. Lace made of bone has become like a beach of teeth. A jungle white as stars, the poet enters a city, by silence enters a scream. <laughs> that, that's a, a poem story. <laughs> How does a poet enter a city like a silence enters a scream? It's poetic license. Poetry, <laughs> poetry buzzes and clicks and hums and howls and trips and screeches until the tongue is a lizard and the snake a spine. And there it is. The long lost, the mythical, timelessly unspoken. Wow. That's right. <laughs> At the end. <laughs> you will notice the new idea of my poems is, of course, all of this. Uh, you, I don't, it's what I call puffy sleeve poetry. You know, there's a lot of puffy sleeve of marble roses and graveyards and stuff. Yeah. Um, I do refer to myself as the Hindenburg of puffy sleeve poetry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good quote. I decapitate everything I've just said with my voice and hand you each word preserved in a head. Marvel stars like the statues of flies, the buzz of the teeth that light the room and rot the shadows. The night is slithering in like a million castrated candles. All icicles are my fingers, the lunar testicle, tentacles of a moon wreck at the bottom of a sea of flesh that crashes on the shores of your sleep, like the chill of my touch. The cliffs shiver with it. I'm a thing that goes poet in the night, something poetry that this way comes. As Bela Lugosi said as Dracula, I don't write poems. Poetry, <laughs> poet, poetry poems, it's all poems. It's all po this and po that. Into my boots I descend slowly from my hat. Ah, you said before. Poetry has been dead for centuries, and poets are now at most monsters. Mythical ghosts, things that once were, but, and I quote, nevermore. Alas, like Hamlet said, not to be never or not to be forever or not to be ever or not to be not. The skull no more than a puppet under the bed. A voice in the darkness of sound, the silence in which she drowned like a mermaid. In the ashes, this lunar snow is made of the ground. The petals of the rose fluttering like the wings of long dead moths covering everything for miles around. My tears like eyes with tails fell like a statue of rain and I now have no reflection, just a shadow in the aquarium swimming there behind the glass. And my favorite number is zero. And the letter that turns my curtains to bone is O. No matter what letters come before it or after it, it turns every word into a name. Nophilia, xerophilia, clophilia, necrophilia, slophilia, way belowphilia, uh, shadowphilia, windowphilia, mirophilia, pophilia. I hear the clothing of dark wings as if my feathered tongue was a glove that sings, reaching out of the grave with a voice like Hamlet uh, by Edgar Allan Poe, all to be or not to be, and I quote, why not both? And alas, and nevermore, 
There are only poets in poems now, and all poetry is last lines anymore. It's not poetry if it comes one last line before. <laughs> I came in spacewise to the moment, all black with twinkling stars and moons and planets. The past was so very far behind, and there was no sight of the future. Time parted for my entering, what with all the rocket ships and ray guns in orbit around the body I now had for a childhood. Sadness, loneliness, a sense of dread, fear, self-loathing, isolation, shivering in slow motion, tears, and the exiting through one's own shadow as the room brightens, the nights that plummet towards the dawn, the shattered remains of sleep piling up in your dreams, the empty veins of yourself through which no one walks, just footsteps echoing like the ghost of a heart, no flesh to comfort the bones of tragic loss, the fields of brideless gowns scarecrows walk out of. Their glowing smile carved into the moon. Their eyes are headless, like candles with only the wind for windows, only the darkness for a house. Wow. This is for. Uh, Some of this is from my deep friend Jacques Ruiz and my little brother Michael who loves this. Okay, let's go Rocket Shadow. I placed dinosaurs behind I placed dinosaurs behind me to protect me from the past and death in front of me to protect me from the future. My voice has its own adventures, as does my reflection. But when I cast the rocket shadow with his tombstone jets and futuristic silhouettes, the wings and no flame regrets, being the feathered candles firing the tongues back out of the poet's mouth that propel him through the outer space all childhoods become when the stars are gone and poems start earlier and earlier the longer they go on. The closer the last line gets, the more lines come before the first, till as if counting backwards from infinity, not knowing where we began, poetry is a rocket shadow lit by the future and seen in the past. And the present is what it casts when time is only a word and rhyme the only word that rhymes with rhyme. And reflections still swing from vines, voices still sail like empty coats above the horses that leave each night a road stretching out behind each word. The vast silence is outer space makes of our dreams. When the rocket shadow burns sleep at a ratio of frost to death, the sky in ruins from earth to death, the lengthening names trails of smoke as if under the bed is now over my head. The aliens, the monsters, the dead, the far distant glow of what I've just said, gone like the rocket shadow vanished before you know so many. Last lines ago. <laughs> <laughs>